Aïe, photo d'Esterdon. One more tornado item from the giant stock of tornado parts available in Great Britain. Actually, I did check on eBay and currently there are more than 800 tornado parts available on eBay. So we have here a weird device called a transducer PTR fluidic. So some kind of uh, fluid pressure or flow transducer, I believe. TPR may stand for turbine. It is made by Plissé Aerospace. This one type 200 serial number 118 you can see that all the information is actually and engraved on the manufacturer plate as it is also on the body on the thing of the thing and i have not one but two of them because they were very cheap at uh, eight british pounds this one is serial number 2067 so a much older one it seems we will open this one today. So, very heavy thing of uh, mostly, it seems, stainless steel. Because my magnet will stick only to the screws and to the back plate here. So, make your guess how heavy is it? It is not far from two kilos of stainless steel. So what do we have? We have this weird shape thing with one electrical connector, big stainless steel cover here and cast stainless steel core it seems with three inlets or outlets for fluid with uh, flanges like this. To connect uh, pipes. Some other ones were actually sold with pipes but they were a little bit more expensive. Uh, three attachment points. What seems to be a transfer tube here which is quite damaged. And uh, so two plugs here. On the other one they are uh, secured by safety wire. I did remove a safety wire here in preparation for the video but actually I did probe a little bit and this seems to be completely over tight and I cannot unscrew it. It does actually damage the head of the screw. So I believe they are just plugs. Uh, hopefully the other screws will be possible to undo. So we have these inlets or outlets and I need notice in this one we have actually two channels. There is one going here and one coming from the side. Quite interesting, and the most obvious and weird thing is this weird shape on the top. I believe there are some kind of transfer channels, something like this. And on the back also, on the back it does completely look like a weird alien or something like this. Really, really interesting. So I am uh, quite curious to see what we have inside. I did not open it yet. So to uh, take it apart, I have to figure out which uh, tools I need. It looks like these uh, nuts here are uh, 5.5 millimeters. They fit uh, quite nicely on uh, 5.5 millimeters. But about the other nuts, so these ones, Ah, I believe, I remember correctly, seems to be 9 millimeters. Quite a decent fit with 9 millimeters, but not here. And it is not 8 millimeters also. So you know what it means. It means it is the time to grab the Imperial tools. Uh, this and this, I guess. So, uh, we will start by undoing this uh, cover here that is 
covering apparently the connections to the transducer element. We have two screws on the top and two bolts here. So this thing seems to be made of three major parts. There is a main middle core here, bottom plate with all channels and top plate. The top plate with will remove with these bolts and for the bottom plate I will need to undo everything. So let's start it. Uh, there is actually a retainer uh, piece here I have to unfold. I did check already if it will unfold because it is all stainless so quite, could be quite hard but Looks like it is not too bad. <coughs> <coughs> so it is a little bit sad the pipes here are damaged. They are all in a big crate. The seller did has a photo of all of them stacked together and they did get some damage obviously from storage. Okay, so I can try to unscrew this. Not too bad. Let me grab somewhere to put the screws. No. This. This one is easy to undo. We will have the manufacturer plate here. It will need some cleaning before I reinstall it, obviously. And we have the connections to the thing, to the sensors. Apparently, two completely separated connections. Interesting. Uh, I need to undo here the bolts. And after it, I will probably fast forward the unbolting because <coughs> okay, it is not too tight. These ones are a little bit tedious to reach because they are behind this uh, piece, so I cannot use my uh, pipe wrench. So let me grab this one and see how it goes. Okay. Not too bad. So the screw heads have this uh, logo for... Uh, ab it is about the thread, I believe. And I did just lose the nut. Very nice. Is there a money somewhere? Oh, it is uh, actually in here. Okay. I will undo the other side, and I believe I will need to undo these things, but uh, it will be a little bit tedious to find the correct tool for it, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so finding a good quality smaller size wrench is always complicated. This one comes from a flea market actually because it is not uh, sizes uh, people use a lot or they are not uh, in hardware stores most of the time. 5.5 or 3.2 millimeters. Okay, so this is almost coming, except for the terminals. Excuse me one second. So for this, I will use 4 millimeters paper wrench. Oh, it is just working fine. completely like such so you can see the third pin 
and the connector is actually to the case so it is a ground and we have two contacts going to this silicon coated things ok let's now undo all the bolts So when I'm screwing, I realize that this thing has really a particular smell. I'm not sure if it is old fuel or old oil, but quite uh, not uh, very nice. Um, Okay, I believe we are good and that the bottom plate is actually loose already. So I will start with the top plate. Here is some kind of seal and here is what we have. Not much except if it is hidden by the seal. Seems to be some kind of graphite seal. So I do not want to touch it because it might just destroy it. But you can see here we have holes matching it seems these channels here also. So everything is connected together and here also. Yes, so there are channels for the fluid to circulate in. We have here what seems to be a main chamber, yes, going like this, and this is probably connected oops, to the other side. Oh, here it is more annoying because actually this part did come, oh, I do not think it is a big deal because the seal is uh, to seal, so. All uh, communications are done through the holes. I can try to undo it, but I do not think we will see a lot more. Oh. As you can see, it is quite destructive, and yes, actually, it is just the plain metal behind it. Except maybe for this. Uh, side but you cannot undo it with no destruction well, you know what for science so I will try at least to reach this point I will cut it it is better yes there is something Some kind of nasty seal. 
Okay. Uh, no idea what we are dealing with here. Probably the main sensitive transducer elements. So first on this part, nothing. The same thing than the top cover. Holes matching the channels here. So you can really wonder how this thing is made seems uh, it is several parts welded together probably because you have to you need to have holes in here to channels to allow circulation of the fluid whatever it is for so it is obviously multi part as you can see uh, weld here or solder so very complicated design and probably super expensive parts so now we are left with this main piece of interest seems we have two times the same thing so there are components through yes the fluid will circulate through them I guess because the two holes here match uh, the ones here and there are uh, two of them in a parallel apparently on the uh, terminals here so I will zoom a little bit you can see it's super dirty this thing because of uh, this uh, seal material very very nasty stuff so we have oh, it is actually pretty much loose but secured by the two little nuts here it looks like I am not sure at all of what is going on here oh do we have a clip here no. yes some kind of a clip okay so at first I need to undo the middle nuts here to be sure it will be free but uh, you know what it is super tiny size and i do not think i have a matching tool this one is 3.2 it is too big already this one is still too big oh, it is very annoying. can i do it with pliers So I think it will be destructive. So I will need to undo this ring here. Try to at least. Okay, like this. Should come. It is probably not going back in place. This thing. Rise of the seal here, which is just decaying. So I will undo only one of the two. Okay. I do not know what I am dealing with, so I will take this. Apparently, a brass disc here with a hole in the middle. Some kind of a spacer. disk um, Mika disk over Mika disk one contact plate or disk mm. 
Then what seems to be one other disk of unknown material over this here and we repeat until we reach this ceramic piece, apparently. Might be beryllium ceramics, not damaged, luckily. And one uh, over uh, same sequence of uh, washers on discs. And ah, yes, actually, here a tiny hole to escape the thing or to unpressure the thing. So does it release what it measures to be outside? Actually, you can see a little hole here. But how it works, I have strictly no idea. Seems to be some kind of a resistive element, this. Is it a measure uh, just temperature? Is it a temperature sensor? We'll test if it is uh, acts uh, as a resistor or not at least yes it is a resistive element if I put it between my hands to hit it a little bit do we read any Difference, ah, it looks like yes, and it is still decreasing. So, might be a temperature sensitive disk, not sure at all. And as you can see. A whole bunch of things in here, so quite interesting. I will try to put this back together like it was. If I remember correctly. Uh, if I am wrong, but something like this, then the mica, then the spacer, then the uh, main piece disk here. Okay, and then the, oops, uh, circuit. <coughs> Probably be a real nightmare to reinstall, but you get the ID. No ID, how they were able to install this one hand at a time, maybe like this. Yes, looks like it is working, but really not easy thing. Okay, at least uh, now you know what we have into the Fluidic TPR transducer. Okay, and it looks like it will be a nightmare to reinstall. But the most impressive parts are obviously these uh, plates, I believe. Very weird design and uh, complicated manufacture. It is a little bit sad for this uh, bent pipe here. Handwritten uh, information here everywhere. Engraved even. And uh, well, it was what you're done of the Plissé Aerospace Transducer TPR. If you want one, they are still available on the British eBay. Just search for Fluidic Transducer.
transducer. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.